Uh, hi, good evening. And um, so, continuing uh, from uh, the uh, RX100 series, now we're here at the uh, booth, the aisle of the RX10 uh, series. So, we have Mark 4, Mark 3, and Mark 2. So, Mark 2 still exists because of lens. It's a 24 to uh, 200 uh, constant aperture, f2.8 lens. Now, these, these two here, Mark 3 and Mark 4, use, use the, uh, the new one, the 24 to 600. Uh, with a uh, floating aperture from uh, 2.8 to 4. I mean, 4 at 600 millimeters is not bad. So I would say, okay, I would accept it. Even though it's a stop lower, but uh, at least it's not something like 5.6. Wow. Well, so so uh, so I'm gonna show you. So uh, so okay, one by one. So let's see, um, we're basically I'm testing the same thing here. The power and uh, 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 frequency change. I want to show you what is going to happen. So a, a long reboot. So the initial uh, next screen running on NTSC uh, occurs again on pale default cameras. So we take a um, Okay, do half shot thing and now we turn it on again. I'm gonna show you what happens. See instant instant black screen. So so um, uh, so so basically it's a, a reciprocal thing. So if you're an NTSC version of this camera, default to the NTSC and when you switch power, you're gonna get it running on power. But here we power land, run on NTSC, so this is very bad. And uh, so that's why uh, some users have been uh, discussing your know, hacking camera to include, to install the Play Memories uh, app so that uh, they could uh, at least switch off the next screen. But I, I wouldn't say exactly switch off, it's like cooking the, uh, the next screen. And some people will say, okay, what's the problem with the next screen? Just, just hard press the shutter. No, that's a psychological thing. It really means that Sony has not done enough to make it uh, a, a, a camera more internationally looking, more accepted by I mean, uh, com uh, I mean com comparable with uh, the international uh, scenario. So basically, the, uh, the camera hardware is still segregated between PAL and NTSC for whatever marketing reasons. You know, they keep saying that they want to to protect market share or whatever. Wow, the hell is so. You know, they do something like this to to the uh, the NX cam, they're going to eat shit. Really, no offense to that, but they need to do the same thing and open up the world cam uh, system frequency change so that there will be no um, no one way next screen. So, so now we're here, and um, I'm going to show, okay, this camera is off, but just sleep mode, but I'm going to just, just to confirm the uh, shooting modes, the video shooting modes, okay. Movie, movie, movie. Alright. So again, no, no more MP4. Ah, okay. So basically, the same thing. So since uh, late last year, Sony has been deprecating the uh, the AVC HD recording settings. So it's not AVC HD progressive anymore because it's so progressive. It's only interlaced, and that's really bad. And part of the reason, of course, like I mentioned before would be the migration of uh, certain modes to the XAVCS uh, uh, arena. Is that a good thing? Uh, could be, could not be, because uh, you know, with a new, new uh, a codec, you're gonna need new codecs uh, for computer playback, so. Now I'm going back to the Mark III, I'm going to see, okay, hard press, you need to hard press. So, okay. okay, see difference, the old camera has the MP4 mode, and see, 60p, 24p, 24p, just like the Mark IV of the uh, RX100, so they really posed a problem here to customers because they, 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 they're going to have a real problem choosing between the old and new, and uh, I guess Mark II, I don't need to, to, to try it again. So, just reverting everything back. Uh, put it back memory card in. And uh, so, so.
So basically, when you test the uh, the uh, system switch over, you need to uh, take off the uh, the memory card first because sometimes with the memory card in, in the certain X rings will come out for whatever reason. So so uh, okay, let's put it back. And uh, okay, that's one more thing. That's the RX zero here. It's not exa exactly a surveillance camera. It's not even an action camera. It's some kind of camera for uh, special assignments and setups. So put this back here. Okay. Ah, never mind. I don't want to break the hot shoe here, but yeah, that's another jam here. I'm not gonna cover that. So, so let's take a look at pricing. Fifteen, fifteen k four ninety. 16k is around um, total 100, 2200 US. 14k, uh, 2000. And the older Mark II one. Okay, 10k, 990 is around 11k. 11k would be, uh, uh, 11k would be, uh, I don't know, uh, 50, 1500, 1600, 15, around 1500. And of course, you still have the advantage of the old lens, the 24 to 200, uh, full, full, full aperture, uh, uh, f 28 and also with the, let's see, a sleeker body than the Mark III and Mark IV, also light to the carry. So, so, so God knows, you know, maybe Sony should uh, follow, you know, the, uh, the. That their the own steps with the uh, RX100 Mark V and to release uh, an upgrade model, say uh, RX10, uh, RX10 Mark, Mark IIA, whatever. I'm not sure, but then won't be a Mark IIA because it's a Mark IV. Okay, I don't know. So, so let's see if Sony would uh, follow, uh, would uh, do a, a, an RX10 Mark IIA. So this is what we're going to uh, hope to see. So that customers have more choices. They don't want to lock this really heavy camera with extended zoom capabilities, which can be good or bad. So, so basically the same problem, you know, uh, with new firmware, with new models. The ABCDXD uh, progressive mode has been deprecated. Now without the progressive part, only interlace. So really, really bad uh, presence, uh, uh, bad uh, presence, but so on. And I think Sony would really need to explain to customers what, what's happening and why they're pushing more on the XAVCS because uh, it just takes <coughs> quite um, a while to to popularize the XAVCS. And after all, you know, it, it, it took took Sony and Panasonic some ten years to uh, popularize the AVCX recording format. So I would say it's too early for XAVCS in the uh, consumer field. So. AVCHD should um, should still exist, and when it exists, the uh, world cam, the uh, the uh, system frequency change will need to exist in a more friendly manner, and that's what I have to say, and that's what I want to appeal to Sony. They really need to think about it, or else we are going to stop buying cameras, and they're going to be deep shit. So uh, that's it with the uh, the Sony. So uh, we will be back with uh, a little bit on the Panasonic. But uh, this would conclude um, today's visit on the, uh, the, the camera section. So thanks again and uh, have a great evening and uh, we'll be back soon.